Thomas Armstead here. Um, second part of what I disagree with with Gary Vee, and like I said, I think he's open-minded enough that I think he would appreciate a slight difference of opinion. Now, I want to make sure everybody understands when part one, when I say he's getting fancy, an example I give is Patrick Bet David, who I was watching, I was promoting, I was telling people, oh, check out this guy, Patrick Bet David. And now he has changed his strategy where he wants to be, for lack of a better word, fancy. And look, I'm an existentialist, and I believe that people should be whatever they want to be with no judgment. It's just like now he wants to be more like a journalist, Patrick Bed David, and I'm just I'm not as interested in him, right? So Gary, in terms of being fancy, I'm just talking about like graphics editing and all of that and I just want to do something different I want to be a guy who's just on the phone just like you who's not a millionaire not a billionaire but wants to get there and we share the journey together um, the second thing about uh, Gary talks about is respect the room now I do agree with him if you're on LinkedIn people are, like he says are in a business psychology right that's their psychology at that point they're thinking business and when you're in Facebook, it's like kind of like you're all of your friends. When you're in Twitter, it's like you're in the stadium and everyone's yelling. And you're the only one that's giving stuff away. I love that. Um, so respect the room. Instagram is very visual. Snapchat is very visual. Um, but as a guy who's trying to say, look, I'm bare bones to the bone. Just a guy on a cell phone. The cell phone is inexpensive. Um, there's no editing, there's no, there are no graphics, and I'm going to post this on Facebook, I'm going to post it on LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, um, it's one of those things, it, what I'm doing is so bare bones that, yes, I respect the room, but I'm also reaching out to people across platforms with the understanding that, even people who aren't in business or networkers or doers can find some value because what I try to do in focusing on business is bring up life lessons, right? So in the last video, even though I talk about this, the guy who owned the newsstand on 149th Street in the South Bronx saying, oh, you're going to get big one day and you're not going to come see me anymore. It's like, it's still a lesson for life that people can appreciate where there are certain people who they don't necessarily want you to do good or get better or because people might look at them and say hey well you know this guy and he's doing this look at the head of AT&T he started out installing cables his brother hooked him up with the job and his brother's still installing cables nothing wrong with that he is a honest, he's an honest worker he's not involved in illegal activity so who cares right his the brother who became ceo might be miserable in his personal life and the the brother who's still installing cables 30 years later might be the happiest person in in the world so it's you're not you can't judge people by how much money they have people make that mistake all the time i went to a prep school and i met the most wonderful people who have millions of dollars and some horrible people who have millions of dollars and i came from the ghetto and in the ghetto there are wonderful people like jesus was born homeless and there are horrible people right so it's just one of those things going back to the point of you know disagreeing about gary v it's like disagreeing with him about this one nuance and not totally disagreeing with him i love that respect the room if you're on pinterest that's different from even instagram which is similar with the pictures it's different from linkedin it's different from facebook it's different from twitter i love that he has recognized that and is putting it out there but as a guy who's doing something bare bones that can relate to people just on a human level and in terms of business it, that that's, doesn't work for me. I'm going to give my content across platforms, and I think people will relate to it on a human level and a business level. We'd love to get your thoughts, especially the people out there who are fans of Gary Vee and hopefully fans of mine. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day. Bye.